Hello, folks. Well, it's been a while, but I have got the urge to try something new. You know, I have been doing mono for probably a couple of years now, and I thought I had pretty good success with it, but um, I'm ready to try one-shot color again. You know, I, for some reason, that's, I've been thinking about that a lot lately, and I own this QHY-10 one-shot color camera. I've, I haven't used it much, but I'd really like to see what I can do with it. Now, uh, this is a real CCD camera, and I know a CCD, this CCD is not nearly as sensitive as my CMOS mono camera. So I thought maybe it would benefit from a fast scope. And the fastest telescope I have is F5, this um, wide field scope, my Orion ED80TCF. And I thought, well, should I really try it on this? Because if I'm interested in speed, maybe I should go all out and start looking at that Celestron Rasa. I've been seeing a lot of people upgrading to that scope lately. And uh, I think it'd be interesting to own, but uh, is it that much different than um, this telescope I had here? The, um, let's crunch the numbers and, and, and see what we come up with. And uh, one more thing about this um, OSC camera, um, it, even though it, it does have a big sensor, um, it, it doesn't have as high a resolution as my mono camera and the pixels are bigger so I know with this it, the picture probably won't be as crisp but you know what I, I still think it will be fun to play around with you know it's something different and you know there's a quote by John Lennon he says you know what I'm an artist you give me a tuba I'll get you something out of it I, I thought that's a great quote and you know what uh, this is the tuba we're gonna get something out of this so Let's go uh, check out these numbers. Okay, I am on the OptCorp website and I pulled up the details for the Celestron Rasa 8 inch scope. And I've got the details here for my um, Orion ED80 TCF scope. And let's just look at some of the details here. And let's start off with. Um, Focal length is interesting to look at. On the Rasa for the 8 inch, I'm, I'm seeing 400 mm. And for the, um, the focal length on my Orion scope, I'm seeing 480. Now, if I use my 0.8 reducer on it, it would put it at um, 384. So these scopes are both very comparable there. And now uh, the aperture is. Uh, only 80 mm on my wide field Orion scope and on the, the Rasa it's uh, <laughs> quite a bit different that mirror it's an 8 inch mirror uh, 203 mm and you know regardless of focal ratio the more aperture you have uh, the fainter details you're going to grab um, that, that that's a fact so you absolutely pick up more stars on the Rasa uh, regardless and but the 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 big number I'm really in now I'm not concerned about weight because if I was um, using a Rasa I, I would be using my CGX and the the tube weight is actually less than my current refractor out there right now that big refractor I have that one is 22 pounds and so this is actually um, uh, 17 pounds it's actually a lot less but the big number I'm really looking at is F2 versus um, my Orion refractor at f6 so let, let, let's do the, the math here and see how much faster that really is so let, let's just uh, give this the if I were using a 0.8 reducer on this f6 would actually be let's see um, 6 times 0.8 so my it does make it faster at 4.8 so let's square that and we come to uh, 23.04 now let's divide that by um, the the rasa at f2 f2 squared 2 squared is 4 so let's divide this by 4 uh, divide by 4 
and that is our difference in speed. Um, and when I'm saying speed, I'm just talking about the brightness. This doesn't this this isn't how many photons you're actually capturing because you're, you're talking. They have different apertures. They have. Uh, uh, different field of views, but this is just in terms of think of it in terms of brightness. So, the brightness I would capture at uh, let's say a three-minute image on the Orion scope um, for let's see three minutes. So let's go 180 divided by that point 5.76. I think was the difference. So the brightness I would get on an object at 180 seconds would only require about 31.25 seconds on the Rasa. So to me, that is just a huge, huge difference. And especially with the short summer nights coming up soon, maybe in a few months, um, that, that's something that I'm, I'm really thinking about. And... Uh, that, wow, that, I can't get past that. So that would be a, it would, for example, uh, if I can capture something in, what, three hours on the Orion scope, I would only need about a half an hour. <laughs> that's, that's just a big consideration when you only have about five dark hours of sky during the summer, five or five and a half hours. And uh, let's just compare their field of views as well. That, that's an interesting thing to look at. So let's see. Uh, I'm on this astronomy.tools website. I, I really like this website. Let's go into FOV calculator. Let's go into imaging mode. And let's put in our first telescope. Let's look for uh, Celestron Rasa in this, in this list. If I can find it here. Celestron Rho Ackerman. Okay, and the focal length is, I know it was 400, let's just double check the, the aperture is uh, 203. 203. And let's put in my one-shot color camera here, QHY, where is this? QHY10. All right, and let's pick an object that we're all familiar with. We'll just pick um, M42, and we'll say add to view. Okay, so this is how Running Man and Orion would fit on that 8-inch Rasa. Uh, that, that's a nice fit for this object. That's, that's pretty good. Now let's compare that to my Orion scope. Let's go down here, and pick Orion. We're, we've got so many scopes in this list. Let's see, Orion. Where's the ED80CF? There it is. Uh, QHY, we'll leave the camera the same and I'll put in a 0.8 reducer. All right, and let's add that to our view. And you can see, okay, that's really close to the point where I wouldn't even notice the difference between the two. So that's that's interesting. So I'm not really, let's see, who actually has a slightly, the, the Orion has a slightly bigger um, field of view. It, the, the yellow box is the Orion, the red is the Rasa. So that's not enough where I would even really notice the difference. Now, the... <laughs> Now, here's another issue I can't get past. Going into galaxy season, is this the best time to really look at a wide field of view? Because let, let's choose a different object here. If I want to capture the Whirlpool galaxy, <laughs> is it really that small on these scopes? Oh my goodness. I don't know. Uh, how about the pinwheel galaxy? Oops, oops, I didn't want to change that. How about the pinwheel galaxy? One oh one. That's a big galaxy. Jeez. 
It's hard to believe it's that small. Wow. You see, you, <laughs> you don't want to, why, even the, the big refractor I have now, it's got a reducer on it, and even that's not very good for galaxy of season. Well, this is really going to make it difficult. Let's try, uh, see what the, now this is a big, let's see what the Andromeda would look like. Yeah, edge to edge, that's what I would have expected. That's perfect. In this field of view, it's absolutely perfect for Andromeda. I knew that. Let's take a look at M33, the triangulum. Even that's not, well, it's not great, but Andromeda is absolutely perfect. So, I really want this Rasa, but the more I look at this, the more I'm thinking maybe I should just wait until we're done with Galaxy Season. Um, but what am I missing? I, I'd like to hear your opinions. Um, I don't know if you found this useful. Um, I hope you did, but anyway, I'll let you guys go. I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.